All right, here's a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis, and in this particular case, we're going to try to find the appendix, and I'll, I'll show you the approach that I use uh, to help identify it. So I start off with the rectum. Um, you follow the rectum back. Here we have the sigmoid colon here. We follow the sigmoid colon up and then around, and then we have the left colon. We follow that up to the spleen here. Here we have the splenic flexure. And then we follow this, and then this is going to be our transverse colon. Our transverse colon is going to go up around the liver here, so here's your hepatic flexure. And then you have your right colon. You follow the right colon down. And usually what becomes fairly easily uh, visualized is your ileocecal valve, because you have some invagination of fat in here. And so this is your ileocecal valve. Usually your ileocecal valve is on the medial aspect. In this particular patient, it is in the lateral aspect. The cecum can flip around and be in any orientation. And so I think finding the ileocecal valve is an important first step in identifying the appendix. So then the appendix is always going to arise from the cecum lower than the ileocecal valve, but on the same side as where the ileocecal valve comes in. So in this particular case, here's our ileocecal valve with our terminal ileum coming in right here to the cecum. So we know that the appendix is going to come in somewhere around this side of the cecum, but lower down. And so when we follow this down a little bit lower, and we go down, we know that we're going to be expecting it coming off somewhere around here, and sure enough, here's our appendix that's coming um, along the right pericolic gutter and heading uh, superiorly. And this is a nice normal appearing appendix. It's got some air within it. It's not particularly thickened. Um, but that's one way to be able to look for the appendix is you look for the ileocecal valve, and uh, you know that the appendix is going to come off of the cecum more inferiorly, and on the same side as the ileocecal valve.